Hi everyone. The previous video was about the introduction of 1D array. You have learned that uh, about the declaration and initializing of 1D array, the storing values individually in 1D array and retrieving values from 1D array. We study the same for 2D array. 2D array is same as of 1D array. It is used to store the elements of same type, multiple elements with a single name. But the elements stored here are in rows and columns. In 1D array, there is just one row and uh, multiple columns. But in 2D array, there is can be multiple rows and multiple columns also. So the basic syntax for the declaration of 2D array is data type. Data type can be any of the four of the basic types int, char, float and double and then array name. Array name is an identifier name. You can name it according to the identifier rules. You can use any name which satisfied the identifier naming rules conditions. This is the rows and these are the columns. The total number of elements stored in 2D array as rows into columns. Suppose I have given rows 2 and columns 3. So the total number of elements I can store in 2D array is 6. Suppose I have given rows 3 and the columns 5. So the total number of elements I can store is rows into columns that is 3 into 5, 15. So let's move to the code now. Then you will get a good perspective of it that how to store, declare and initialize a 2D array. So I want to declare a and initialize uh, integer 2D array so data type will be int or I am giving it name ARR you can use any name for it you can use even your name also and uh, now I am giving rows I am giving two rows and uh, three columns so I am just giving it value 3, 4, 7, 9, 3, 4 and the semicolon. So there are six elements. Three are stored in one row, and the another three are stored in second row. This goes like uh, the same index as we have told you in 1D array. The total number of rows are two, which proceed like zero and one, and the total number of columns are three, which proceed like zero, one, and two. So there are three elements on zero row and the column zero, one, two. And there are three elements on the first row at the columns 0, 1 and 2. Now we will retrieve the element, the all the six elements. Then you will get that how to retrieve it. I will put percent D. I will put a backslash in over here to get next element in next line. I will use it. I will use the 0 and 0th element. So now before compiling this program, let us guess the answer. So I am retrieving the element on 0th row and on the 0th position so this is the first element 3 let me just compile it for you and run it C that is 3 so we will retrieve all the elements in it we will just paste 6 times 0 1 0 2 now this will be changed 1 0 1 1 and this is 2 this is 1 so there are six elements, three are stored in zeroth row and three are stored in first row and these are multiple columns 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So this will tell us about all the six elements. See 3, 4, 7 and 9, 3, 4 same as we stored off here. So this is about the declaration and initializing it with the 2D row, 2D array and uh, few things you need to remember here that these are the number of rows these are the number of columns the total number of elements you can store is rows into columns so here 2 and 3 so 2 into 3 is 6 so we have stored 6 elements and uh, you can skip the number of rows over here while declaring the array here but you cannot skip the number of columns over here like this will work also there is no error in it and uh, the retrieving is will be the same but if you skip the number over here then it, there will be a compile time error the compile time error is because the 2d array stored column wise not row wise so giving the number of columns is necessary so when we specify the number of columns over here it tells us that there are three elements in one row and after that it shift to next second row so there is no need of giving the row but there must be we should specify the number of columns over here 
So this is about the declaration of the 2D array and uh, retrieving from the 2D array. If you want to change a particular element of, uh, I, I think we can change this element, this array 1, 0 will change the element. The first row and the element present at 0th position will make it 99 and then we'll retrieve it again. I'll just copy it. I'll just again copy it and paste it over here Let's compile it and run it see the last element is 99 because we have changed it so this is about the declaration and initializing of the 2d array and uh, retrieving from the 2d array you can also take inputs from user in 1d array and 2d array as you can take input from uh, for single variables for user so this is all about the 2d array thank you